we are going to start discussing uh, the idea of conic sections. We're actually just going to look at the equations of conic sections to start with. We're not going to know a lot about them right now, but we'll uh, talk about the equations, and then once we do that, we'll look into how to graph them uh, and some other properties about them. So there's two different forms that conic sections come in, two different equations. Um, there's standard form, um, which is also maybe known as work form. They're the ones that they're easy to graph from when they're in that form, and then there's the general form which every conic can be written in general form. Um, so first of all, a circle, the um, standard form for a circle is going to be x. Uh, and different people write different things. I usually put plus h squared plus y plus k squared is equal to r squared. And in that h and k help you find the center. It's actually the opposite of H and the opposite of K are the center. And that's why some people put minus signs. Then you can just put HK as the center. And then R is the radius. Next is an ellipse. Um, ellipse, uh, the equation for ellipse and the equation for a hyperbola look almost identical, except um, there's a, a plus sign and a minus sign in different spots. Um, so here we go. We have, it's going to be x plus h squared over a squared plus, there's the difference, uh, that plus there, y plus k, the whole thing squared over b squared equals 1. Now this is one variation. There's actually another variation because a and b are um, specific. a always uh, goes under a specific one. So a is always larger. So if the, if the larger number is under y, then you would say a is under y. But for right now, this is going to be good enough. The next one is a parabola. And again, a parabola equation can come in two different ways. Uh, we've seen this before. So y equals a times x plus h squared plus k. That's going to be our typical parabola. That's a function that we've been working with. There's also, I'm going to write it here so while we're at it, there's a horizontally facing parabola that is not a function, and that's x equals a times y, and we actually put plus k squared plus h. Hyperbola, again, I said it was just like ellipse, x plus h squared over a squared minus y plus k squared over b squared equals 1. And while we're at it, I'll write this. Uh, x is not always first. Sometimes y is first, and it, it has to do with the negative sign that's there. So there's another form where we'd actually have y first. So y plus k squared over a squared minus x plus h squared, uh, sorry, squared over b squared equals 1. So those are the different forms. Um, so as you would look through the first several questions on the sheet, uh, 1 through 6, you should be able to pick out which is uh, which conic section those equations are representing. Next one uh, talks about general form. So before we do general form or talk about general form, I have to put a, a general equation up here and talk about this for a minute. Um, the general equation is ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. And all conic sections can be put in this form. Um, now for our purposes, um, we are, in this text, we don't discuss this term right here. And so for our cases, in, in this pre-calc course, b is always going to be zero. So we won't ever have an xy term, uh, for right now anyway. Um, 
So the way that we determine our different conic section equations or can tell what conic section we're talking about is all we have to look at or consider is A and C which notice those are the coefficients of the squared terms. There's the x squared and the y squared. And so we're still keeping our same categories here so if if we're talking about a circle um, for a circle A is equal to C the coefficient of the x squared is equal to the coefficient of the y squared. For an ellipse, a and c are the same sign, and when I'm saying same sign I'm referring to positive or negative, but they are not equal because if a and c were equal then it would be a circle. So A and C are the same sign, um, so both positive or both negative, but they're not equal. For a parabola, um, when we looked at the parabola, notice only one, we only had one squared term over here in our um, standard form. So this means either A equals 0, which means we wouldn't have a x squared term, or C equals 0 but not both. Because if both were equal to zero, then we wouldn't even have a conic section anymore. And for a hyperbola, A and C are different signs. So one's positive, one's negative. And so with that information, you should be able to finish off uh, this worksheet uh, just by classifying each conic as either a circle, an ellipse, a parabola, or uh, an, a hyperbola.